Hi and welcome to Cooking for Dogs. This week it's all about Star Wars. Roland is dressed for the occasion in his cute little dog outfit. If you go to a Star Wars theme party, these are the dog cookies that you'll want to take along. Let's get started. Now these Star Wars inspired Sabre Light treats are so easy to make for your dog. We've used a cup of carob buttons, a tablespoon of Crisco to help the melting process, some red and green plant-based food colorings, that's a natural food color. We've got some peanut butter cookie dough, we're going to leave the recipe link in the description box below, and some small stick-shaped dog treats. The peanut butter cookie dough is so easy to work with, it's a good stiff dough and I'm just going to roll these out with my fingers and shape them into roughly 6 inch stick shapes. Line a baking dish with the baking paper or parchment paper. Pop them into the oven and bake for approximately 10 minutes. Set them aside and let them cool down. Now it's time to melt the carob buttons with the Crisco. We're going to melt them in two separate containers and we're then going to colour red and green with the food colouring. Now we are melting carob buttons. This is not chocolate, carob is a legume and is a dog friendly chocolate substitute. Coat a generous amount of the coloured carob onto the cookie saber lights. You want to leave about two inches at the top to represent the handle of the saber. Now just like chocolate, the melted carob will start to thicken as it cools down, so you'll need to work fairly quickly. If the melted carob does start to thicken and becomes unworkable, simply add more Crisco, pop it back into the microwave and whisk it smooth with the fork. Crisco or Kofa is your secret weapon when melting carob. After you've dipped the sabre lights, stand them upright into a mug or a container, making sure you leave room around each one of them so they're not touching and don't stick together. Looks like my little Jew back with the sand trooper outfit on has had a bit of a hard day. He's decided to snooze through the cooking and wait for the taste test. Roland often has various dog outfits that we put on him, but this dewback with the sand trooper has got to be one of the cutest outfits I've ever seen. What have you got to say about it, Roland? So that's our green done. Now let's work with the red melted carob. I've already microwaved more carob buttons, used red food colouring, and now I'm just stirring in the Crisco. Have some Crisco on hand and just keep adding it until you find that the mixture that you're working with is a smooth consistency. It can't be thick and lumpy, it has to be nice and smooth and easy so that we can dip the rest of the treats into it. I love the Christmassy colours of red and green on these sabre lights. Not only are they Star Wars, they're also a Star Wars Christmas treat. So for all my Star Wars fans out there, who is your favourite Star Wars character? Roland's not sure whether it's the Jew back with the Sand Trooper or AT-80 the Imperial Walker. You'll see him sporting that outfit at the end of this video. So here we have two different types of Star Wars inspired Sabre Light dog treats. We've baked a batch of the peanut butter cookie dough Sabre Lights. And we've also used some stick-shaped dog treats. We think they look a little bit fabulous. I love to get your ideas and suggestions, so write in and let me know if you have any other Star Wars themed dog treats you'd like us to make on our show. And here, romping on the grass in the backyard, we have our very own AT-80 AT Imperial Walker. And we have Oscar with the Dewback and Sand Trooper dog outfit. Which is the outfit that you prefer? And who wears the Sand Trooper better? Oscar the Pomeranian or Roland the Poodle? Oscar is one of our family dogs and while I call him a Pomeranian, he's actually a German Spitz, which is a larger size 
than the normal Pomeranian. The peanut butter cookie dough snacks are always a hit with our dogs. Thanks for watching our video today. If you loved it, please share it amongst your dog loving friends or your Star Wars loving friends for that matter. Don't forget to subscribe, check out our other social media sites, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. But above all, have a fabulous week and may the paws be with you. Thanks again everybody. Bon appetit! This week it's all about Star Wars. And we're going to be making some Wookiee cookies. Let's get started. In the first part of our video, we're going to make the peanut butter dog cookie dough. You can microwave these or bake them in a conventional oven. In the second part of this video, we're going to decorate and create our Wookiee cookies. In the last part of this video, we're going to watch Ruby the Chocolate Lab, Roland the Toy Poodle, and Oscar the Palm Spitz battle it out to taste test and see who can eat the most Wookiee cookies in the shortest time. Our ingredients for the cookie dough, we have flour, rolled oats, baking powder, smooth peanut butter, honey, oil, and water. Into a large bowl or jug, pop the flour, the oats, and the baking powder. Mix it together until it's well combined. Next, add a cup of water and blend until smooth. Add the peanut butter and the honey along with the oil. You can use either coconut oil or olive oil for this recipe. Then mix together until it's well blended. I'm just flouring my surface here and I'm going to use the cookie dough and roll it out until it's about a quarter of an inch thick. Choose the size cookie cutter you want to use. I'm going to choose a rather large circular one here. Cut out the cookie shapes and place them onto the baking paper lined tray. Leave some space between each of the shapes on the tray. Pop these into a moderate conventional oven and bake for approximately 10 minutes. They'll be crispy and golden when they're cooked. Now pop them aside and let them cool down on a cookie rack. Melt the carob buttons with a generous tablespoon of Crisco or Kofa. Your Crisco or Kofa is going to cause the carob buttons to be a smooth melt and when you whisk them together there'll be no lumps. Fill a small sandwich bag with the melted carob and snip the corner off at the bottom. Simply create the Wookie cookie mouth. Make two dots on each of the cookie faces for where the eyes are going to go and then follow up with one dot for the nose. Choose three of the blueberries and position on top of the carob eyes and nose. Did you know blueberries are a great little superfood for your dog? They're rich in antioxidants and are a natural source of fibre. They're good for active dogs and you can even feed them as a treat on their own. An important thing to note here is that we never use chocolate in our recipes. Chocolate is toxic for your dog. I'm using a dog friendly alternative to chocolate which is carob. Carob is a legume and you can buy it from the health section of your supermarket or from a natural health food store. The carob melts just like chocolate does and it dries hard just like chocolate does when it cools down. It makes a great base to attach these blueberry eyes to. 
Crisco or Kofa is the magic key to melting the carob buttons so that you get a nice smooth consistency. As the carob dries it can become lumpy. If this does happen and it cools down too quickly before you've finished working with it, simply add some more Crisco, reheat in the microwave for a few seconds and whisk together until it's smooth again. So here's the finished Wookie cookies. These crisp peanut butter golden crunchy cookies are a real treat for your dog. But don't take my word for it. Let's ask this very scary looking Dubac Sand Trooper. What do you think of these Wookie cookies? And while we've been cooking in the kitchen, Ruby has been waiting patiently for her turn to test out the cookies. I think it might be a tie. There are crumbs everywhere, but not a cookie to be seen. Thanks for watching our Star Wars inspired Wookie Cookie video today. Has your dog got a Star Wars pet costume yet? If so, write it and let me know which one it is. Now you know how I love to get your feedback. Please write in and let me know if there's something that you'd like to see us do on our videos or something that we could be doing more of. If you liked watching this video, we'd love for you to share it. We'd also love for you to pop over and have a look at our other social media sites. Our Facebook, give us a big thumbs up like over there, and Instagram and Twitter. If you're not already one of my subscribers, please subscribe to our channel and help us to grow. A big thank you to all our channel supporters out there for helping me to achieve my first million views and growing. Have a fabulous week and bon appetit.